Last week, I saw two murders, got three. Do the math. Damn. People like us. If we just do the That's a nice shot, the camera work following them through all the hallways. That's kind of fun. That's neat. Look at that. Look at this. Where's he even going? He's like going through a maze. By a big pile of crack. Fair. By that big pile of crack. Good God, Mel. You won't die. And then where will you be? <laughs> Look at you, man. Damn. Mel was an actual threat. He was a threat to the birds. And then he just... Did that. All right. Mel. Sure, dude. Knock yourself out. Wow, what a badass. I'm surprised the class didn't applaud. Who exactly is this person? Someone we've worked with quite a bit. For a All right, so. You sure know Wendy's in the know. What is she, 16? Don't let the looks fool you. You, you know must be hell? Claire. Ruth Langmore. How are you? What a businesswoman. That was a very businessy intro. Wow. So, how do you like the Ozark so far? Ruth has that face on her that it, when she asks that, you can tell she does not give a shit what the answer is. She's just asking it just to fill time. We got a deal? Nice. Things are looking up. And then this guy with no dick. Why? The f do you want? Ron, honestly. Like you care. Honestly. I don't. You're right. I okay, shot well. off your dick. For that, I apologize. You Thank you. What do you want, darling? I want you to accept my apology. No. no. What? No. Are you crazy? Anyway, yeah. I, heard I got a slew of that. It's ready to move. Don't give daddy a taste. You got six figures in your pocket. Seven. If you're smart. It makes no sense to me. This whole exchange makes no sense to me. Why would he ever even think about business with her? No. No, I don't care who you are. I don't give a shit about who you are. A woman shoots off your dick, you're done. There's no way you even think about talking to her, let alone doing business. Get the f makes no sense. I disagree with that. You're enjoying our board. Oh, Ben. Oh, it's all Would over town. Wendy? Honestly, yeah, Wendy. There's another one. Dumb cunt. What exactly were you trying to achieve? Wendy, huh? let's just try to enjoy the meal. No, no, no. I really, I want to, really like to hear from Jonah <laughs> on this. Good God, dude. Were you trying to hurt us? Uh, Put us at risk? Yes. Darlene. Guess you got to kill her. Maybe it's a good thing. What? Uh -huh. Huh? It drives up. Profits, whatever the fuck. Shows we care. Yeah, shows we care. <laughs> god, I hate you, dude. Oh my god. My hate drives further and further every episode. How are the SATs? Yeah. Hmm? You give us some good news, Charlotte. How are those what? SATs? She's turning 18 in a couple of months. She can make her own decisions. Let me talk to you in the bedroom for a second, please. Good god. Ugh, she just bit her fork. Have you ever heard of a unified front? Because it's Parenting 101. Charlotte's not like other kids. Her life is different. Okay, but you still... Is that a good thing? It is what it is. You should still And since let... when did you become so collaborative, huh? Marty, no. I don't recall you ever asking me about doing a mammoth pharmaceutical drug deal with Ruth. Which is yeah. saving our ass. Apparently did it at some point, before the deal went down. Your brother is not missing, okay? He's dead. And it might make you feel better to pretend otherwise, but this is one problem that you won't... It'll only get worse. He's not just gonna walk away, Wendy. Do you think that you can talk to him and see if he can press Darlene to take that stuff down? I, I know that it's a lot to ask. But Why don't you just do this? it? Good. Just take him down yourself. What time do you meet with Schaefer? Morning. Nine. <laughs> I'm on Team Jonah, dude. Screw Wendy. Uh, Anything at all from Helen Pierce? No. Sorry. Bitch. For a question like that, you can just um, call. Just... We haven't seen Helen in over a month. Is that because she's dead? Yeah, Jesus! I think your brother Ben killed her, and Ooh. now you're protecting her. Whoa! Why would you think that? She gets him tossed in the bin, and he gets out, and I'm too pleased, I bet. You know, he's prone to flying off the handle, and now... That does add up. Geez, I gotta tell you, I'm really losing my patience with all this. But you gotta... Yeah. I just want See? To... Your lie is getting so yourself. much worse, dude. I just got back from, uh... North Carolina I spoke to Nathan Davis. That's your dad, right? Now, he <laughs> said he thinks. Have a great day. You too. 
I hate him so much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, so it, it's hard to say if Ben would get framed for this, whether or not uh, Wendy's lie spiraled, if she lied at all. But I'm gonna assume that her lying really stirred the pot and really and got Mel onto Ben's track and assuming Ben killed her. So I blame Wendy for Ben potentially being framed as a murderer. The Snell had it loaded out this morning. Loaded out where? <laughs> wow, your guys' partnership. Going great. Well, I sold it to Frank Jr. a few hours ago. How the fuck did you manage that? Honestly. It was as simple as the writer wanted it to happen, so they just wrote it in, even if it made no sense. I cannot right now. I'm, I'm in the middle of a drug deal, and Ruth is 25 minutes late. <laughs> That's something to say over the phone. Frank Jr.? Who? Kansas City mob. It's, it's okay. I'll, I'll call him. How many fucking heroin dealers do you people know? Uh, <laughs> just this. So you're going to call Frank Jr. right now. Get easy, Marty. I don't work for you no more. And just because you let that cunt get her fist up your ass does not mean you can get yours up mine. Are we clear? Yeah, <laughs> we are clear, baby. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and I did call. Tell him I'll sweeten the deal. Tell him I'll give him an extra $100,000 and an extra hundred grand for both the other buyers. Okay? And a hundred grand for me. Ooh, yeah. And a hundred grand for me. Yeah, she's going through all of this trouble. Hell yeah. She's doing all this work for you. All of it for you. hundred grand for you. Damn right. He's beautiful. Oh, get away from the child. And tell him if he doesn't want to work for free or part-time, I'll get him a badge. Damn! I'll tell him. She ain't gonna tell him shit. He'd be great at it, you know. Oh, I know. God, I hate you. If you mean do I miss you, ask me to come help move a couch. Then when I show up, you want me to move all the shit in your house? I don't miss that, no. <laughs> uh, just... Just keep an eye on him for me, okay? Please. Supportive dad, absolutely. Oh, road rage. Road rage, <laughs> Wendy, let me see it. Go around him. Wow, it's got, it's getting extreme. Yeah, I no longer feel bad for her anymore. No longer. Ha ha, ha ha, aw. Some calls. What is she doing? Calls. I wonder why you didn't do it sooner. Well. Oh, shut up. A family issue. That's so you obvious. You're so support. obviously faking. Wow. She went from zero to a hundred. Skipped all the rest so of the numbers. Oh my God. She don't buy that mm -hmm. shit. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, let's find your brother. I hate you. Now that she's going to the police, like, she's gonna waste so many people's time. Ta wasting money, time, effort. A stone cold bitch. It's Wendy. Oh, that voice. I'm just, I'm just calling to express my gratitude. Jonah told us how you took the trouble to put those posters and those billboards all over town. And this is gonna be such a big help to my family. And you let me know if I can chip in. Oh, and also, I just filed a missing person's report over at the sheriff, so. She's being so stupid. I'm happy to oblige. You're both stupid bitches. I hate you both. God, dude, I just... On one hand, I really like that Ben's death and Ben's just involvement in the series as a whole has made such a great impact and such a... It's been so important to this season so far as a whole. But I mean, I hate that he has to get used as a pawn, as a little as a little toy for Wendy, dude. To get one over on Darlene, to help her political campaign, to help her charity i just it's it drives me nuts to the point where like i said i don't feel bad anymore that she had to go through what she went through no matter how much i understood it at the time i just i don't feel bad anymore cold ahead name is saddam oh well got a lanai room all ready for you. i don't know how you spelt that correctly on the first go without having to ask what does he do here anyway like it was like maintenance or something oh no no oh, jonah handles our finances Duh! come on sam really He's 14. That's that's such a red flag. Uh, Come on, man. Oh, he wasn't liking that. Don't worry. You'll all be good. Yeah, okay. You know, I shouldn't have roughed you up like that. I'm sorry. It chaps you they didn't kill me, I bet. Well, that's big. Character development. I probably should have never threw you off that boat. Aww. 
Look at these two getting along. That's just great. He lost his badge. A little coat problem that ended in the evidence room. Ah, okay. So that was a flashback. Gotcha. Oh, you jealous cunt? You're like 70, 80. Come on now. What else are you telling your mommy and daddy about me? Nothing. Nothing. I swear. Oh, Jonah seems kind of scared. Um, do you understand me? I mean, take it easy, okay? It's just a kid. Don't interrupt me. Ooh! Do you understand me? <laughs> I could cut a lot more. Are you paying me that hundred grand or what? He's trying to get out of that. Yeah. Sounds like he's trying to get out of that. Can you, can you put her on speaker, guy? Can you put her on gay? Put her on speaker, gay. You no, know Connor with cash. What the f do you care? <laughs> okay. All right, guy. The problem with you being spooked is about to cost you a hundred grand. Hey, bitch. Holy hell. I really, I really like that shot with them in the mirror. Oh, I love that. I love that shot. Okay, meeting going. All right, Marty. Damn, you're brave. Marty. <laughs> Stay back. I'm serious. Stay back. Stay. Marty. Yeah, come on, Marty. Damn it. <laughs> Marty wasn't. Damn it. <laughs> Yeah, I almost forgot that Darlene has a baby right now in her care. What the hell is that baby ever doing? You forgot my custard. I only have one rule. <laughs> Don't forget my custard. Never lie to me. Understand? Oh, shut up. Look at his face. Oh, my God. He got real scared there. Yeah, the ginger told me I could sit here. I hope that's okay. <laughs> I'm not sad. Him. Ah, uh, will she throw Wendy under the bus? I sure hope so. Especially if he tries to bring that Ben as a murderer crap around her. Mind if I have a cookie? Sorry, all out. It's just people with cookie jars there. Usually got cookies. No, well, that's not the case. Okay. Absolutely not the case. Maybe they just don't have any cookies and they haven't gotten around to cooking them yet. <laughs> like I just need her signature or her body. I don't this really care if anybody did this anything Poor wrong. guy getting that damn signature. You know, you probably do want to go to college. I'll tell you why. I mean, it's only a matter of time before you mess up and she'll get so pissed she'll fire you. Then where will you be? Making 8 dollars an hour at Walmart? Jesus Christ. He prepared this speech. The hell was that, dude? I mean, I agree, but that was really random. Felt very rehearsed. Oh my God, this cunt. Go away. Or if it involves money, do what you gotta do. Thing, but it was so, so thoughtful. Don't give me that shit. Yeah, you're you making know, it so obvious that it bothers you. Come on now. Like, I think it's hard for you to admit sometimes what a kind soul you are. God. Oh, she hates being called like anything helpful. nice. Like oh no. With Ruth. What are you talking about? Now she's not Ruth on the bus. Sold, oh Frank Jr. He sold to us. We sold to Thanks for that too. I hate you. You know what? What, Darlene? Ooh. What? what? Oh! What, you gonna oh. kill every pretty girl in the Ozarks? She just scared the shit out of Darlene! <laughs> Die! 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 <laughs> Heart attack! An ambulance! That's not happening. Not fucking happening. No! Wendy! Don't! Don't! God damn! No? Heart attack? Heart attack! Die! This is a play! This is a play! God, she's evil. God damn! Wendy is nuts. Look at her. And he just fades to black. 911, what's your emergency? What? Over? God damn it. All right, so I don't think I don't think Darlene's going to die from that just because one, it would be dumb as hell to kill off Darlene that way. If you're going to kill off the worst character easily in the entire show, in the entire four seasons of the show, the worst character, you're going to kill her off by just a heart attack, natural causes. Uh, then you can go f yourself and then two is because the episode cut so it would make it, it would be dumb to cut the episode and then open up the episode and, oh my god she's dead so that'd be weird but we're getting closer man I feel like I can feel I can feel her dead I can feel it she's gonna be dead soon she has to be so this was an okay episode this episode was mainly Marty trying to get the deal done with the KC mob and Ruth and all that Wendy doing her political shit that I don't really care about and Mel Saddam investigating in the background slowly but surely getting closer 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 we got to know him a little bit more we got to know that he's got an experience with policing as most PIs pretty much do he was excused for that coke problem which caught me off guard at the beginning but there was a flashback, obviously, so that was good to know. 
interesting to learn about this potential threat to the bird dynasty and yeah man that's about it darlene is almost dead she needs to be dead she better die next episode i swear to god